all humans emit carbon dioxide and contribute to the climate crisis. But some humans emit much more carbon dioxide than others. Look at the statistics, where each bubble here represents a country. This axis shows the emission of carbon dioxide per person per year in ton, from less than one ton per person in year to 10 and to 20. And the size of the bubbles, the size of this bubble up here, eh, which is uh, United States, it shows the emission of carbon dioxide from the whole country, the total amount of carbon dioxide. Yeah. And, and uh, this bubble down here is China, and this shows the size of it shows how much China is emitting. Uh, the axis down here shows the income per person, $1,000, $10,000 and more. And the color of the bubbles show the continent. The green ones are the Americas, the brown one is the European bubbles, and the red one are the Asian bubbles. And what you clearly can see is in 1975, because this data is from 1975, uh, countries with low income have low emission and when their income increases, they get very high emission. And what has happened over time? We fast forward the world here and you can see that as countries grow richer, they emit more. And here comes China with its economic growth. It grows very fast in the 90s. It moves this and it starts to emit more and more, whereas the United States continue to hover around 2000. Uh, about 20 tons per person and in 2003 it's actually almost the same amount of emission as it was in, uh, in 1975. 20 tons per person in United States and in China down here about 3 tons per person. Uh, the size of the bubbles are now about the same size and it's because China has four times as big population as United States. So even if United States emit much more per person, China also get a quite big bubble because there are so many. But most of the countries actually are somewhere in between here in the world. They are somewhere in between China and the United States. China do not emit very much carbon dioxide per person. Where do the carbon dioxide come from? Well, large parts of it comes from coal. And why do they burn coal? To make electricity. I'll show you the statistics on that. This shows the production of electricity, the percentage that comes from burning coal. 10, uh, 10 20, 40, 60. In China in 1975, they made 60% of their electricity out of coal. And United States was a little less, about 45%. And over time, the change has been, as you can see here, 75, 80s, and China is producing more and more energy, and a higher and higher proportion of that electricity uh, which they produce is from coal. And it's increasing to reach, by the end of the century and the last year now, China is producing about 80 percent, 78 to 80 percent of its electricity is made from coal. In United States it's about 50 percent. So if we should stop the emission of carbon dioxide from burning coal, we must understand that this is the cheapest way of making electricity. And the people in China, they want electricity in their homes. There are still hundreds of million Chinese that doesn't have electricity in their homes. So what China needs is a technology that can produce electricity from renewable sources in a way that is cheaper than making it from coal.